So why do I use test-driven development in my projects? Uh, if you've watched any of the other stateless code videos code al coded along with any of my projects, you'll note that I'll, I'll, I make the habit of writing the failing test first, I make the test pass, and then if needed, um, refactor on that. And you may be asking, well, why go through the effort to spend so much time on uh, software testing when your users never directly see any of that uh, software testing. So I, I, I ask, whenever I interview a programmer, I ask them what their philosophy on testing, software testing is and what they believe constitutes a good software test. So um, if if you wrote everything perfectly and nothing ever changed, maybe you're right. Maybe you don't need to write, um, ha have a robust uh, test suite that uh, that you can fall back on. But the minute you change something and it's something that you didn't work on yesterday, but maybe you worked on a year and a half ago, you want to have confidence that if I change this here, I won't break these four or five things elsewhere, or if I do, I want to know about them so I can fix them. Uh, your the the opportunity cost that you spend writing your tests, assuming that your your project lives for more than fifteen minutes, will wind up uh, paying back dividends for you. So it's really important to to write a test to write a good test that. Um, your your software your, your uh, it that fails when it's not in place and passes exactly when the feature that it's testing goes into place. Don't just chase test coverage uh, for the love of God. Don't just chase 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 test coverage. You need to be asserting. Anything that you care about and that your users care about in your code, you want to be uh, making expectations and assertions about them. Um, don't. It, it's far better to write no test at all than to write something that creates the the metric of code coverage, but doesn't actually assert anything meaningful about your code or, um, or, or, or about your, your features. So uh, it's, as you can tell, it's something that I'm passionate about. Um, it's something that will, um, the earlier you get into to the habit of writing good tests, um, it will do nothing other than, than benefit you. And so that's why um, in the stateless code videos, I always uh, focus a good amount of time on, uh, on testing, on having um, the things that I care about in terms of features covered um, and both positive and negative. So you, you, you test uh, for what your, um, what your feature ought to be and then for what happens when something unexpected happens. And um, the more uh, the more effort you spend on doing that and having a good uh, robust test suite. For one thing, if you ever invite somebody else onto your project and they're not familiar with it, you will um, you'll provide them with guardrails and so that they can have confidence in making uh, making changes to a code base that they're not familiar with though the, the worst thing you can do is throw somebody into <laughs> something that's got maybe decades of technical debt with no testing behind it like good luck and we, we want this this feature uh and we want it by yesterday uh you're, you're going to be paralyzed with fear when you go in and try to make that change because you don't know what the dependencies are you don't know what the 
the implications of making that change are because the um, that there's no uh, test framework there. So uh, you're not the only per write the code as if you're not the only person who is ever going to read it and use it and um, be a good uh, neighbor. Do unto others as you would have done unto yourself. If you want people to who are joining your project to um, to feel like you would want to feel when you're joining a new project. Comment your code well, have uh, good tests in place, and um, don't neglect it. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code, and taxation is theft.